basic hole drilling. I've seen this come up a lot on the sites. These are the various drill bits that I use. I used to use these a lot. They work, but they're really slow. I've kind of graduated to these. These are a core drill, see. These work really well, but you have to make sure that you clean out the material that gets on the inside because it's drilling out a hole. It doesn't remove material like a drill does for a for wood. It actually drills out a little core. And, uh, you know, I know people use like this one, this size, and this size I use for drilling holes in vases and bottles and, uh, you know, etc., etc. Now, I know Dremels are wonderful tools. I've got one I use it to cut, uh, to cut metal off and things. Very handy to have. But for hole drilling, I'm using, I've got a cordless drill. This thing fits in the chuck, obviously. Tighten it down the variable speed and you know I know people say well put it in a drill press well I drill a lot of holes in bottles and the bottles have labels and people will bring in you know they'll bring in a bottle from a wedding that's everybody signed if I immerse it in water guess what not only takes off the label but it takes off the signatures and you know God only knows you have to make some kind of special mount or vice to put everything in a drill press so I don't have time to play games with stuff like that. And, you know, immersing in water is fine if you can do that, if it's not something you've already made and you want to drill a hole in it. But, so for me, I keep a little spray bottle around. And when you use drill bits like these, you have to start it off at an angle. It can't go straight on because it'll wander. You have to... Start it at an angle, and if you're drilling through thin glass like this, it's fairly thin, once it starts to seat, because it really has an abrasive around the tip of the drill bit, okay, it'll eat into the glass so you can slowly stand it up. It's, see, it, now it's, it's skittered. See that little mark there? Can you see that little tiny mark? And I'm on clear glass, so it is hard to see. So start at an angle. And you really shouldn't have to press on glass. If you're pressing on glass, you run a good chance of breaking it. So slowly. Oh, see? Skittered again. Luckily, this isn't for a project I need. But if it skitters, it's going to mark it. And we do keep, like my little spray bottle, to keep it wet. And can slowly stand it up. Slow. No, keeps doing that. Uh, the bit's kind of worn. Let's change to another bit. When they get shiny and smooth, they're not drilling anything anymore. Put another bit in. Now, when you buy these things, especially these small ones, they like come in packs of ten because they wear out really quickly if you're not careful. Well, they wear out quickly anyway because they're small. Now, this one's working good, see? See a little white around it? That's the material that it's removing. It's removing it by abrading it, just like if you were sanding a piece of wood or something or your grinder. It doesn't take off big chunks. You see that? I've just got this on low speed. And the reason I'm doing it on a piece of glass, well, unfortunately, my table is not quite as smooth or flat as I would like it to be. It's kind of got some wear and tear. So when you go through, you don't want to go through into the table, obviously, and you don't want to go through so hard 
or so fast, and hope to do this also. So I'm going to be doing this by hand. If you want to go through so hard and so fast, see, now it's, it's through, that you actually break the glass. You're reaming out a little bit, see? And that's pretty much it. Let's wipe it off. And there is the hole, which is a hole. Okay. Now, how long did that take? A couple of minutes. That's about how long it should take. Not 15 minutes, half hour, something like that. So, that's it. Basic hole drilling.